man. Uh, back with Weezer, man. All right, man. Uh, there are more funny comments coming in from uh, all you read uh, online uh, web users. Shook, man. Uh, Root Van Wong too. Uh, mm. Ha ha ha! Come on, you rock, man. Yeah, Han Kyung and Ben. Uh, what if United wins at OT against? Wanna do a forfeit? <laughs> Shame <laughs> that. Oh, yeah. until March to give you the answer. Okay, okay. Uh, well, a forfeit goes two ways. What are you gonna what do? Are you gonna yeah. do? What are you gonna do? Uh, we don't even know who appear, you are, man. Appear right here. You come, come here. Right. And you bring a shaver. Uh, yeah, I can bring my shaver, yeah. and on the show we can do a shave. <laughs> oh, that would be nice. It's Good idea. Nice. Oh. Okay, then. Oh. Uh, We'll, we'll come back to the online comments later. There's, them, there's them, lots of them coming in, which is very good. Is uh, this the same Gattuso that said Spurs own Arsenal uh, the last time? Uh, For all, by the way, it's not owning. Uh, it's BJ, a draw. Spurs it's a very humiliating Arsenal. draw, Whoa. but it's not owning. Look at where is Arsenal and the number of matches lost. I think Arsenal will, be even, will not be even in the Champions League next season. <laughs> come on, come on. Para, para from me to see Shawal. Uh, <laughs> come on, come on, come on. No, no. <laughs> come on. Uh, you come on, man. We now know why you call come, come on. on. <laughs> come on, man. Come on, man. Right, come on, man. All right. Let's come on to uh, more, more EPL matches. Um, uh, you know how City did uh, you, when the start of the season, they like uh, score upset one after another and then you know, you know, upsets, uh, one of them include our dear uh, <laughs> oh. Ben's team. Um, oh. uh, and that was the nasty one. Um, one nil, they led 1 0 before losing 2 1 at Emirates Stadium. So now they are seeking for revenge uh, at a house, uh, KC Stadium. And uh, it w- well, although it was a 3 1 win, um, as you can see, um, how City actually drew level 1 1 before. Um, succumbing to two late goals uh, from Samir Nasri and Nicholas Bentler. Um, so and two as- off the post? Yes, off the post yeah. here and there. You know, right but the end, yeah. Goals are goal. Right uh, and Bentler, goals yeah. are goals. Yeah. Uh, when Persin Bentler. But there's one offside, yeah. right? Well, yes, he was uh-huh. offside. Yeah. Hey, yeah. But uh, come on! <laughs> right. We had enough of them going against oh. us. Yeah. Oh. Uh, so it's so been eight games unbeaten, right? Eight games unbeaten for Arsenal. Eight Arsenal. games unbeaten, three wins on the trot. Three mm-hmm. wins on the trot. Uh, um, I think what I, I don't know whether Dylan you agree I think what uh, was I liked about this game was we have options coming off the bench now mm-hmm. Vela off the bench Benner off the bench um, we've got the other two young ones uh, Ramsey and Wilshire yeah. only problem is the guys who actually start Adebayo I think if they offer I mean if, <laughs> if, if Milan get 100 million for Kaka please send 50 million for, for Adebayo and you can have him and yeah. Abu Dhabi is still a waste of space <laughs> and Ebui is hot and cold but the good news is uh, it seems Eduardo is back scored a hat-trick against the first team mm-hmm. for the reserves uh, in a training game uh, Rosiski we will forget about him <laughs> <laughs> for now and, uh, Ashravin but, uh, and they say they're getting Ashravin yeah, but yeah. I think coming, I think Ashravin coming, coming may actually upset the play because I, I don't know whether he will settle in straight away mm. I hope he doesn't come in and um and it's a crucial period as well. I mean, the last yeah. thing you want is, is, is for the team to yeah. to be further unsettled. As long as he comes in and he knows that he's not going to be a starter, yeah. he's got to work his way in the team, I think it's a good thing. You know, I, I'm, I'm glad with the way the way Bentner has come in at, at yeah. very, very crucial moments this season yeah. as well. I, I hate it when Bentner starts. <laughs> I, think, I, think, yeah. I think he's coming in safe. Fantastic. Yeah, I think nice. for the super rest sub. of the season, he should be a super sub. Yeah. And I think the one player, if you're getting, is uh, Robin Van Persie. Three goals, three assists. He scores, yeah. and now not when he doesn't score, he assists. And, and, and the way he worked, really, Nasri's goal, he put it on a plate for him. Uh, the cross, and by the way, Adibaya was lucky. If you look at the replay, he didn't know what he was doing. <laughs> I don't care which Arsenal fan says it was a good header, it wasn't. It came off the side of his head. It was a good goal, but it was lucky. Uh, but Nasri's goal was fantastic, Bettner's goal was fantastic. And so, so twice who do you think is more important, Samir Nasri? Who has been scoring important goals as, mm. as against mm. Manchester United? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Or maybe Robin van Persie, or, or both are important. Both yeah. need to start, and I Bo- think in the absence of Fabregas, and I think him being out is a good thing because he gets the break that he needs and he comes back at the right time. Uh, Nasri must play a central role because he's wasted out on the wings. He oh. really does well in a central role. But okay, not not too bad. I mean, Samir Nasri uh, contributing well. Um, do you think this gritty wins? Uh, a few, it's been a few gritty wins for <laughs> Arsenal for a change uh, with Samir Nasri scoring some good goals. Uh, do you think it, it is a good sign for you no, know, perhaps you no know, 
just keep in touch with the 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 leading I, pack. I think so. I then, think I think, then, yeah, I think maybe it, it boosts the confidence of the players and all yeah. that. We're we're in a very very difficult position now. I mean, a lot of the of the very important players mm. have been uh, dropping like flies week in week out. I mean, <laughs> you know, first Walcott, Dan Fabregas. Those those were two very very big blows. Um, hopefully, these you know these wins are, are, are very very necessary. And I think this win was important because, I mean, mm. like five minutes before the end. United were drawing nil nil. Chelsea were one nil down. Mm-hmm. It looked like it was going to be a good Villa were also mm-hmm. before the eight minute going. Yeah, yeah, one one one. I think. And even if all the results had gone Arsenal's way, I mm-hmm. think Arsenal needed to win this to get that Hull defeat out of their yeah. system. Yeah. All the more when the results then turn in the last ten to five minutes, um, that was a good performance. Yeah, uh, it's really something that. I think the boys should be proud of themselves. Yeah, definitely. And I mean, I, like I said, I'm not bothered by having seasons. I don't even care if they don't make the Champions League. People say it's 40 million down <laughs> the drain. Now you say that. Now you say that. I don't say this even if it happens. But I honestly don't think it's going to happen. Let's That's have a the replay thing. in the next episode. No worries. Even if they get the 40 million, it's not as if Wenger's going to spend it so long. Oh, dear. I mean... Okay, but more importantly, uh, okay. if they don't, <laughs> let's go talk. Let's go talk to UEFA Cup, man. Come on, let's go bring that one back. Let's win some silverware, man. Who cares? Yeah, not Man City. Yeah, forty million they use for redecorating the Emirates Stadium. I don't know, but anyway, but, <laughs> goes back to the fans. Goes back to the fans. I, I honestly don't think they're going to be out of the top four because no. they've had their worst behind them, and they are still there. Yeah, yep. and if they continue doing as they're doing, I can't see the the rest of not dropping points. So I'm I'm. For me, it's been a successful season, whatever. Because I still go back to the point. Start of the season, all these players left. Everyone's saying, oh, Arsenal won't even be in the top four. Spurs will replace them. <laughs> Where are Spurs? Sorry. <laughs> oh, which, brings yes. me, which, brings, which brings me to Spurs. Huh? Um, okay. One week, they're at the bottom of the league. <laughs> then, you know, somehow one draw, one one only. And then they suddenly jump back to the out of the relegation zone. Uh, is this good for your heart, huh, Sean? Uh <laughs> I think, I think before that, when when they at the slum, Ben and yeah. mentioned that they will they'll come back when Red Nap took over. Yeah, mm. they will come back. Yeah. But now, but like Red Nap, <laughs> after they've chopped enough points, <laughs> yeah. ROC relax one corner, start losing, <laughs> and when it matters, it will come. Because but does that frustrate you? Frustrate fans like you know? And uh, I mean, they were doing quite well. They're on a good roll for a while. I mean, unbeaten for a few games. If then suddenly, then scoring, yeah. suddenly they they sort of like lost their way, lost a few. Then then they go to the bottom again, mm. make you feel very depressed again. Then now they, they go back up, no up and down, up and down, up and down. This. I more de- if if Liverpool does like that, I'm not going. to... I'm more depressed <laughs> over the fact that they they the so. They fall at eight point five and got it back at <laughs> fifteen. Oh, 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 nice piece yeah. of business. Man. I think I think Sean's what he the point he made the last time you say again and we we, we made it's this but Red Nap was the, the the chap to get them out of trouble. Any other season, I think they'd be safe. This season is a season that just goes against the form books. Uh, I, a lot of Arsenal fans, despite being Hull, I, I I read a lot of the comments. They said they want Hull to stay up. They want Hull to do well. They want Hull to be around next season. Because Hull play football the way it should be played. And and I agree. I, I think Phil Brown's amazing. And there was I was watching one of the pro there's so many football programs on TV now. One of the programs they had with Phil Brown, he said Hull at a crucial stage where the next ten games could see them in Europe, could see them mid table, could see them relegated. Mm. That's how close that bottom is. One point that Spurs got, they go from bottom to five yeah, places which up. Which is also why I think to be fair to Spurs, um, yeah. it isn't actually them in the so-called crisis, but it's just how the Premier League is shaping up um, yeah. at the moment. It's two games, you lose one, draw one, yeah. you find yourself in relegation probably. And yeah. probably you win two, you find yourself chasing But, but that, that means uh, what the millions that they spend uh, pre-season uh, are po- pretty pointless, right? They got Luka Modric, they got um, Pavlyuchenko, they got um, so many different players to come in to follow yeah. the squad. And obviously, that it has failed. Like they made a. No, I, I think um, they made a no bought back Jermaine mm. Defoe for like twice, almost twice mm. the amount they sold him. Mm. No, yeah, finance think, wise uh, and stuff. Touching back on uh, what someone said earlier was mm. also that I mean the teams are getting harder to beat in the uh, Premier League. Yeah, yeah. And what not? I mean teams like United, Chelsea, Arsenal are finding it hard to even you know Precisely. push something up and uh, not a mid table team for a few years team like Spurs. It's gonna battle even harder, I think, against mm. these these kind of teams. Uh, but 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 of course, this is 
fabulous news for us football fans. I mean, yeah, it's it's, it's only good. It's, it's only, only good. good. It's all good. Only good. I think for the first time, because usually in a football season, the only things that really matter are the top fight and the bottom fight. For the first time, we got a, a, a season where everyone is involved in one of those two fights. <laughs> Nobody is in. Okay, no, no, you no, put no, a bottle no, down. No, 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 Everyone below that could be relegated. <laughs> you know what I mean? Except maybe yeah. Everton. Yeah, they were, they are, they're only ones in that neither here nor there. Yeah. Unless today something happens. When, when, uh, <laughs> <laughs> when, when May comes, we'll be on. saying yes. that the 13th place team who are in the relegation dog fight. I think it will happen, right? Mm, yeah. yeah. Yes. yeah. We've got more comments from uh, from the internet. and uh, They're brilliant, actually. Han Kong, you are a boomer. Oh, I, have I oh. talked too loudly? Yeah. Oh, uh, <laughs> hybrid said uh, Red nap now funny. Take a nap already <laughs> 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 Hey y'all Good good jokes Y'all come in with man. Ruth and Wong Sean I buy you more Pick hot soup <laughs> Whenever Spurs at the bottom You can drink it <laughs> uh, And uh, what He says uh, Ben if Arsenal Don't enter the UCL Champions League Promise us you will shave every day, please. <laughs> Come on. Yeah, as long as you tell me what you're going to do, we still don't know who you are and what you're going to do, man. That's it. That's it. He's going to shave, right? Huh? Hybrid said that he's going to shave. No, no, before you do the same. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Okay, uh, okay uh, Hybrid said you think, but it's thing. Are uh, you call Nicholas a super star? <laughs> you only two matches or so. The real super sub is. Uh, Two old legend. Ole. Ole Gunnar Solskja, I think. No one can deny that. Uh, uh, all right, man. Come on, say mustache beautiful, yeah. <laughs> then you got a friend. <laughs> so come on, police. Uh, Jesse says, I still remember the start of the beginning season. Uh, Han Kyo, you were laughing at United. Yeah. You still remember that? Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, you guys yeah. remember. Thanks, Jesse. And see where we're yeah, yeah. the season. Hey, I laugh. Now they are, you are about to you all laugh at me, no problem. <laughs> you guys are showing the table particularly late, right? No, oh, no, no, show, no, no, no. We'll show the table oh, right, no, right, right now. I'm Do surprised it. you haven't Bottom five, five Wait, wait, wait. Top five, wait. Bottom five, please. Oh, Bottom sure. Five. Bottom five, please. Uh, as you can see, Spurs. Hey, Spurs, come on. Last come on, week, Spurs. they are at the top. They are at the bottom 20th place. Now they just jump straight up to 15, 16th mm. place. Uh, Blackburn also found themselves out of a relegation trouble with a 3 0 win over. Uh, Newcastle. Uh, meanwhile, West Brom, they thought they win 3 0 over Middlesbrough, they jump over. <laughs> Sadly, they now fall back to the bottom again. Stoke City, well, very, very unlike, unlucky against Chelsea. Middlesbrough are, are going down, man. Oh. Uh, let's look at. Uh, and you see all of them on Shawal's 21. That's favorite, the amazing uh, thing. All let, on 21. Yep. Five let's look two. at Shawal's our favorite, favorite uh, uh, graphic. Drum roll, uh, please. Uh, drum roll. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> five. Ah yes. Ooh. Ah yes. Oh, 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 good. This season. Sorry. Manchester United top of the league, man. Fourteen wins, five wins, <laughs> five draws, two losses. Liverpool, uh, one point behind. Chelsea, a further point behind. Aston Villa, a further point behind. While well, Arsenal are uh, still uh, three points behind Aston Villa, although. Yeah, it's still very close. I think it's uh, anybody's game. <laughs> oh, 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 yes. Oh, no bias now, there. Now, now no wonder, bias. Uh? Now, you wonder why the cameraman is so... Because he's also a Man U fan. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, we got so many Man U fans around. Uh, they'll be great to talk about the, the subsequent transfer talk that we're going to talk about after Can't this you, break. I need to ask you something uh, as a Liverpool fan. Uh, now, I'm surprised you didn't pick up this. Everyone was wondering why hmm? uh, Benitez kept both Torres and... And Robbie, uh, Keane, Robbie, Robbie Keane on the bench against Stoke. They never made an appearance. They're fifty million, almost fifty million worth of uh, of uh, He's saving up for uh, Everton. No, but I, I I don't know. I have a theory. I mean, I'm not a Liverpool fan. I'm wondering why no no Liverpool fan has picked up this. Now United did their bit, came back, and I said this: the the rest in Japan will do them good as long as they come in the matches and they've won their matches. The only thing they haven't had to deal with is pressure being the top and everyone going for them. I'm sorry. 
We've been doing that for, for no, I think, two decades. This season, I'm talking about this season. Yeah, yeah. This, this season, season is a, a, a build-up. If you want to bring this to the end of the past, past is, really, and what about Invincible season? The, the you know, past, that's history. The past Our history is history. Well, Gunnar Scotia is also history, but the history past. comes. You see, that's the thing. Sure, wait, wait, wait. Sure. The past few history seasons, comes. you've been facing Chelsea and Arsenal. Now you're facing a different kind of enemy. No, but my point is, do you think Benitez deliberately wanted United to see how they do, if United go ahead, see how they manage at the top. Because it's still in Liverpool's hand and see how they cope. Because well, they how do you explain leaving out, uh, leaving out see, uh, Torres that's and... That's always a plan. That is and, always uh, a plan. Keen. Yeah, that's why. Because I'm, I'm confused. For I'm me, com- that's the only I'm thing that makes as sense. Well, but I think our renting manager knows better. But uh, we'll, come <laughs> for, we'll go for a break. We'll come back with more transfer talk. Man. <laughs> <laughs>